Hi, today we'll have a look at how to use the Action Plan Excel template. First, let's go into the settings page. It contains four submenus that allow you to personalize your action plan and set up the dashboard and report. The main settings page allows you to select your language and set the different statuses. By default, the four different stages are not started, in progress, completed, and overdue. You can, however, change it to whatever reflects your business best. Let's go to the translation tab. Here, we can see we have four languages available, English, French, Portuguese, and Spanish. The section Other will allow you to set up a new language. Simply translates all the expressions listed, go back into the Settings tab, and select the Other option. Let's move on to the Goals section. Here is where you enter up to 10 goals. Let's add a new one that we'll call Implementation of Information Security Certification. Great. In the Objective or Project section, we can enter up to 20 records. Finally, the Resource section is where you enter the list of collaborators that are responsible for some specific objectives or projects. Let's enter a new team member we'll call David Bowie. Now, let's move on to the final and most important input page, the Action Plan. This will already be updated based on the data we have already inputted in the Settings page. Let's go to our newly created goal, Goal 10. We'll assign it a couple of objectives or actions to it. All right, let's call our first one Objective 1 and it will be to make the initial project meeting. As for the resource, we'll assign it our newly created team member, David. And for the dates, let's set the start date as the 15th of July and the due date as the 31st. Great. We'll say the invites to the meeting have already been sent out and a brief has been written. So let's enter a percentage progress of 20%. Awesome. As you can see, the status automatically calculates and sets as in progress. Let's create another objective, objective two. This will be to calculate the project costs. Once again, we'll assign it to David. And for the dates, let's just set it from the 1st of September till the end of the month. For the percentage progress, as it hasn't been started yet, we'll keep it at 0%. The status is ex as expected, not started. Awesome. We're now ready to look at the results. First, the summary per goal report. You'll notice that all our goals are listed and their main metrics displayed. Let's look into our newly created goal 10 in detail. We can quickly visualize, for example, the total number of objective or actions, which is two in our case, and the average action progress is 10% as we're doing an average between 0% and 20%. We can also see the number of actions per status, with one objective not started and one in progress. And finally, the number of action by progress range, with one at 0% and one under 50%. Let's move on to the dashboard. It allows you to choose which goal you want to visualize, 
or if you prefer, have an overview of all objectives or actions regardless of their goals. Let's focus on our example, goal 10. We have two actions or objectives out of which zero are complete. The average action progress is an average between all objective percent completion, which is, in our case, an average between 0% and 20%, so 10%. The action by status shows us that one of our action objective is not started and the other in progress, which means 50% each. Finally, the action by progress indicates that one of our action is at 0% while the other one is under 50%. That's it. You know everything you need to know about our action plan Excel template and you're ready to start using it now.